Hello, preschool. It's Mrs. Becker back again with a new story for today. Today's story is called The Dot. It's written and illustrated by Peter H. Reynolds. It's about this little girl named Vashti and what happens when she tries to draw a picture. Let's open the book and get started. There's our title page that tells us the name of the book again, The Dot. I love the way the illustrator used the dot, a dot, to make the O in the word. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Look. See, her paper is completely empty. She hasn't drawn anything. Look at her pic look at the picture of her. How do you think she's feeling? I think maybe she's feeling a little frustrated. Do you ever feel frustrated sometimes? I certainly get frustrated sometimes when things don't go just the way I think they should. Let's see what happens to Vashti. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Hmm, what would a polar bear in a snowstorm look like? Mm, probably all white, just like the paper. I think her teacher was trying to help her think of some ideas. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good, strong jab. There. See, he took a marker and just sort of jabbed it. Just made a dot. Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. He pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, Now, Sign it. Sign it means she wants Vashti to write her name. Very often, boys and girls, when people, artists, do some kind of drawing or painting, they sign their name at the bottom so that everybody knows it's their painting. Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw but I can sign my name. And there she is right there, signing her name. Vashti, it begins with a V, like our friend Vivian. Look at her face though. Can you see Vashti? Do you think she's feeling any better yet? Even though her teacher has tried to help her? I think she's still looking very frustrated and maybe even a little bit angry now. Poor Vashti. The next week, when Vashti walked into her art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was her little dot. She had drawn her dot all framed in a swirly gold frame. Look at how fancy the frame is. And there's her dot and her name, Vashti. Hmm. Vashti wasn't thinking that it was very good art, but her teacher must have thought it was. She put it in a fancy frame. Hmm. Imagine that. I can make a better dot than that. 
she opened her never before used set of watercolors and set to work. Boys and girls, we use watercolors at the painting easel at school. They're a type of paint. They're the one where you have to dip your brush in the water first to make the colors. Vashti painted and painted. A yellow dot, a green dot, a red dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the red, and she discovered that she could make a purple dot. So blue and red together made purple. My favorite. Vashti kept experimenting. Lots of little dots in many colors. Sometimes, like when the blue and the red mixed, it made a new color. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a big brush on hot, a bigger paper to make bigger dots. There she is on the floor making a really big, look, it's almost as big as she is. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. Look what she's done. She painted all around the edges and left the middle empty. And that left a white dot in the middle. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. When our book says it made quite a splash, they're telling us that many people like Vashti's paintings. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't even draw a straight line with a ruler. Hmm. I think Ash Vashti has an idea. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. His hands were very nervous and shaky. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle. Can you see his squiggle right there? And then she said, Please sign it. Remember, sign it means to write your name. And she's handing him the pencil. And that's the end of our story. I think it was so nice the way that Vashti helped the little boy the same way her teacher helped her. At the beginning of the story, Vashti felt she wasn't an artist at all. But because her teacher encouraged her, and told and showed her that she really could be an artist, Vashti was able to help other children too. I have, an, I have an activity I would like you to do. I emailed a paper to your moms and your dads, and maybe they were able to print it out, and maybe they weren't, it doesn't really matter. If they were able to print it out, then you can do your drawing on that. If they weren't, you can just use a plain sheet of paper. 
<laughs> it doesn't matter. Whatever works best for you at your home. At the top of the paper that I sent to your grown-ups, it says, start with a magic dot. Tell me what you see. You will be amazed at what a dot can be. Hmm. And then at the bottom, it says, my dot is, and then there's a space you to tell what your dot looks like. So this is what I want you to do. See the empty space here in the middle? I would like you to pick a color, maybe more than one color, and make a dot. Of course, I had to make mine purple. So I started with a dot. That's what the poem tells us. Start with a magic dot. There's my dot. But I didn't finish there. Then I added a line to my dot. Can you tell what I made? That's right. I drew a balloon. My dot is magic. It turned into a balloon. But I didn't stop there. I drew more dots and turned them into balloons too. And then at the bottom, I wrote, my dot is a bunch of balloons. You can do the writing yourself or you can ask a grown up. But guess what? I forgot to do something. I forgot to sign my name. Remember, Vashti and her teacher said, whenever you do art, you should always sign your name. I'm going to do that very quickly. There. Now it's really my paper, Mrs. Becker. So that is your challenge for today, boys and girls. Start on your paper. Remember, if you don't have this paper, if mom or dad was not able to print it off, then please just use a blank piece of paper. Start by making a dot in the middle. And then look at your dot. And see what you think it might look like. You can add more to yours. Or maybe you just want it to stay looking like that simple dot. My dot, if I don't add anything to it, looks like a ball. Maybe a ball for us to play with out on the playground. Or have you ever seen a marble? Marbles are circles, little, um, little globes that you can roll on the ground. That's the fun part of art. It can look like many different things. And that's why being an artist is so much fun. Boys and girls, I had a great time reading and drawing with you today. Maybe next time you can, um, if you come to the Zoom chat, you could bring your dot pictures with you. Or if you'd really like to, you can ask mom or dad to take a picture and email it to me. We did that last time with um, some of your other springtime pictures. That was lots of fun. I like to see the things that you make. But for now, boys and girls, Mrs. Becker is going to say goodbye, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!